And Florida Congressman Michael Walsh joins us now. Uh, Congressman, I want to get your reaction to what we just heard from, from Griff about this new law. You know, he pointed out it's likely going to face legal challenges because it's the federal government's responsibility uh, to, to enforce immigration laws. Uh, but as you also heard from his reports, they're not taking responsibility, right? Congress uh, is not able to yet come to a determination on what to do with the border. So what's your reaction? I mean, is this the type of thing that states need to do in order to protect themselves? Well, we really are going back to fundamentals here. We're going to the basics of our founding as, as Governor Abbott uh, alluded to in his announcement of the new Texas law. Uh, the federal government has two key jobs. Uh, one is to defend the nation from threats abroad, and two is to secure our border uh, and manage interstate commerce. And what you're seeing here is when you have a weak federal government, in this case, yes, Congress has a role, but we've passed a number of laws that the Biden administration is literally refusing to abide by the law and to enforce the law. And that's why I do think you are going to see a move towards impeachment of Mayorkas for literally neglecting the law. But to your point, then what's left? Well, you already have some states taking it on themselves on the left to create sanctuary cities for their own agenda. And then you have other states, now Texas, taking it upon itself to enforce the law in the way that it sees fit. Uh, this is going to continue to spiral out of control, both from a legal and constitutional standpoint, but again, from a national security standpoint and a humanitarian standpoint. And this is all because this administration refuses to do what it takes to secure the border, period. And I mean, that's it. Congress is going to step in. The House Republicans have stepped in and said no more money for Ukraine or Israel or Taiwan or anything else, any other ally, until we take an America first approach and secure yeah. our own border. We're doing what we can do. But Congress, I mean, the administration has to actually then enact and force the law. I am so glad that you brought that up because taking a look at this Fox News poll, two segments, a major problem, 45% of people say that the border is a major problem, an emergency, 34% say that it is. And you brought up the fact that uh, President Biden is willing to negotiate, he's willing to bargain with respect to how the border is policed when it comes to getting Ukraine aid. And Congressman, I'm just wondering, like, what are the conversations that you have in Washington amongst your colleagues when you see the president putting this out kind of like a bargaining chip after being so loose with the border over the course of the last three years and, and essentially uh, allowing it to, to you know, um, get into emergency territory down there. As soon as he wants something, he's willing to move on this. What do people say? Yeah, well, I mean, sit the progressives aside because they truly have an open border agenda. But, but common sense Democrats know this is uh, a problem that has to be addressed. They know, for example, that 40% of, of women and girls that are making this dangerous journey are being uh, sexually assaulted and sold into human trafficking. All of our communities, regardless of political party, are feeling the fentanyl crisis. So the common sense Democrats know uh, that this has to be addressed. And I'll tell you what, I think there are a number of senators, uh, Democrat senators that are in red states uh, that may be saying one thing publicly, but mm. privately, are also wishing this would be addressed politically. Mm -hmm. And now that the polls are so overwhelming uh, against, uh, his poll numbers are so bad, uh, that's why I think finally, sadly, for political reasons, yeah. not for national security or for others, that, that the uh, the White House has finally come to the table just five, five days ago. I think you're right, Congressman Michael Waltz. Thank you so much. Really appreciate having you today. All right, thank you. All right.